we are glad to introduce the newest model among the cryoscopes available today, Thermoscan Mini, produced by Sibagra Pribor. Key advantages of our product – suitable for raw and processed milk, high accuracy of measurement, simple sample preparation, small consumption of milk for samples, reliability, affordable price and short payback period, doesn't require daily calibration. Thermoscan Mini is intended for quick determination of the freezing point, freezing temperature of milk by the thermistocryoscopic method, which is a reference arbitration method of the freezing point determination. The given method is more accurate and the priority method as compared to other indirect methods of the analysis. Determination of the freezing point of milk is the main method for the detection of dilution of milk with water, the most widespread way of milk adulteration. After completing of the measurement, the percentage of added water freezing point are shown on the display. For the analysis, the samples of the following types of milk can be used – raw, pasteurized, UHT milk, sterilized whole milk, sterilized partially or completely skimmed milk. The samples of normalized milk, if they contain salts of citric acid or phosphoric acid, cannot be used for the analysis. First of all, after receiving the milk analyzer from the manufacturer or the warehouse, it is necessary to check the box and make sure that the packing is intact. After unpacking of the analyzer, check the completeness of delivery according to the packing list. Check the analyzer externally for safety seals and absence of mechanical damages. The complete set of the analyzer includes the following test tubes, four pieces, syringe, for 2 ml, syringe with a silicone tube for 20 ml, power cable, container with a cooling liquid, operation manual in English. Additionally, you can order the set of special solutions for checking of the analyzer's operation. If required, these solutions can be used for the analyzer's calibration. Before starting work, it is necessary to read the operation manual and safety measures. We recommend to carry out testing of the analyzer after transportation using the standard solution. You can also repeat this test occasionally to check the analyzer's calibration. Fill in the cooling bath with a cooling liquid. 33% water solution of ethylene glycol up to the given mark by means of a syringe fitted to a silicon drainage tube provided in the analyzer set. The approximate volume of the cooling liquid to be filled is 120-125 ml. Switch on the analyzer, putting the power switch in the position 1. The following messages will appear on the analyzer's display. The analyzer's model the software version and the serial number. Leave the analyzer in switched position for 30 minutes for establishing of the operating mode. It is necessary to prepare the standard solution with a freezing point of minus 0.512 degrees centigrade in accordance with our operation manual. It is required to store the solution at a temperature of 5 degrees centigrade in well-corked plastic bottles with a capacity of not more than 250 cubic centimeters. Before using the standard solution, it is necessary to turn and slowly rotate the bottle several times, carefully mixing its contents. The standard solution cannot be shaken, as this can cause air bubbles. Portions of the standard solution can be poured out of the bottle without using a pipette. Check the calibration of the analyzer in the following way. Pour 2.5 cubic centimeter of a standard solution in a dry clean test tube. The temperature of the standard solution should be 20 plus or minus 2 degrees centigrade. Control the temperature with a thermometer. Attention! The test tubes used for samples should be free from cracks and scratches both on the inner and on the outer side. Otherwise, results may be incorrect or crystallization may not occur. Make sure that the probe and the wire for hushing are clean and dry. If necessary, wipe them with a soft, clean, non-fibrous tissue. 
insert a test tube with a standard solution in the sample receptor of the analysis cooling bath. Press Enter. The process of cooling of the sample will begin. The temperature of the sample, which in the course of its cooling decreases, is displayed. First, the sample is cooled to the temperature below the freezing point. Then freezing is stimulated by a hushing wire that strikes against the test tube's walls. After crystallization begins, the sample temperature quickly rises and for some time remains practically constant before its fall. The freezing point is the highest temperature reached in the given period and this value is automatically fixed and is displayed on the analysis indicator. Wipe the probe and the wire for hushing with a soft, clean, non-fibrous tissue. Repeat the operation to receive five measurement results, each time filling the duly washed and dried test tube with the same standard solution. If the basic absolute error of the freezing point of the standard solution with a freezing point value of minus 0.512 degrees centigrade doesn't exceed plus or minus 0.004 degrees centigrade for any three of the five measurement results, the analyzer is ready for work. Otherwise, the analyzer is to calibrate it again. Now we are going to demonstrate how we can test a milk sample for the determination of the freezing point. Select and prepare the milk samples. It is preferable to analyze the samples immediately after selection. Carefully turn and rotate the container with the milk sample several times, mixing its contents. Milk temperature for the analysis should be of plus 20, plus or minus 2 degrees centigrade. Make sure that the probe and the wire for hashing are clean and dry. If necessary, wipe them with a soft, clean, non-fibrous tissue. Pour or transfer with a pipette the milk sample 2.5 plus or minus 0.1 cubic centimeter into a clean, dry test tube for samples. Place a test tube with the milk sample on the holder of the measuring head, smoothly pushing it upwards all the way. Press Enter. The test tube with the milk sample will be lowered together with the measuring head into the sample receptor of the cooling bath. The process of cooling of the sample will begin. On completion of the measurement, a short sound signal is given out and the measured value of the freezing point of the sample is displayed on the indicator. Repeat the measurement with another portion of milk. If a difference in the parallel measurements is more than the convergence 0.004 degrees centigrade, the results are rejected and two more consecutive measurements are carried out. Attention! We do not recommend reusing of the same portion of milk, the same milk samples, as freezing causes protein denaturation, which can yield a lower result. Crystallization of the milk sample begins before the established temperature is reached. The cause – presence of crystallized fat in the sample which is formed during cooling of milk. It is required to preheat the milk sample on a water bath to plus 45 degrees centigrade. Then keep it at this temperature for 5 minutes to let the crystalline fat melt. Then cool it down to plus 20 plus or minus 2 degrees centigrade and after that immediately perform the measurement. The difference in the parallel measurements of the standard solution or milk sample is beyond 0 0.004 degrees centigrade. It is required to observe the following conditions. The room temperature should correspond to the normal conditions of operation of the analyzer – plus 20, plus or minus 2 degrees centigrade. Before each measurement, make sure that the probe and the wire for hushing are clean and dry. If necessary, wipe them with a soft, clean, non-fibrous tissue. Test tubes used for samples must be clean, dry and have no cracks or scratches both on inner and outer sides. Crystallization of the milk sample doesn't take place, doesn't start. The most probable reason – added salts are present in the milk – potassium chloride, sodium chloride, etc. Thermoscan Mini Cryoscope has the option for saving measurement data in the analyzer's memory, transferring them to a PC for saving, processing in a special program and printing out the measurement results on a special printer. Currently, detection of milk adulteration is a very actual and urgent issue, especially for milk processing plants and enterprises. 
milk processes resort to various methods of adulteration of milk in order to hide the low quality of their product and to retain the costs of their products when milk is delivered to milk processing plants. There are laboratory analysis methods for identification of various types of adulterations. However, these methods require not only additional expenditures of chemical reagents and time, but also high qualification of lab personnel. Now we are going to demonstrate how Thermoscan Mini is used for detection of these adulterations. Adding water to the milk in order to increase the volume, dilution of milk with water is the most common and widely spread way of milk adulteration. Let's add 10% of water in milk and check how the freezing point parameter changes. The standard freezing point value for natural raw milk is approximately minus 0.52 degrees centigrade. Testing of milk with added water show that the freezing point value is shifted from the normal level of about minus 0.52 degrees in the direction of increasing values, that is the result is shifted closer to zero, which is the freezing point value for water. The next popular method of milk adulteration is adding to the milk salt stabilizers, preservatives and antioxidants in order to increase the shelf life of milk. In case of adding to the milk of other foreign substances, the freezing point will shift downward and would be less than minus 0.52. Adulteration of milk includes also adding skimmed milk powder, dry cheese whey and reconstituted milk. The cases of adding vegetable oil, replacement of milk fat with vegetable fat are very common nowadays. All these supplements, adulterants, are used in order to lower the cost of milk without losing its price at delivery. Analysis of the main quality parameters of milk such as fat, protein, SNF in adulterated milk may not help identify adulterations, while the freezing point determination using direct freezing method allows for identification of additional manipulations or adulterations in milk. By determining the freezing point of milk, we can see that the freezing point has shifted downward from the standard value of minus 0.52 degrees centigrade. Only by controlling the naturalness, the quality of raw milk at the input when milk is received from milk producers, we can guarantee the high quality of the finished product at the output. Thermoscan Mini Creoscope installed at milk collection point will allow receiving information about the quality of milk and detect possible adulterations before milk goes into processing. The measurement time per one milk sample is 4 minutes. Currently, we are offering in the Russian and foreign markets one of the most economical, cost-effective and affordable solutions for determination of the freezing point of milk with the best price quality equation. According to the feedback received from our Russian customers, we can say that our product has a short payback period and pays back quickly. The affordable price and convenience for users make our product irreplaceable for various dairy laboratories and milk processing enterprises. Thermoscan Mini Creoscope allows for identification of various adulterations of incoming raw milk used for processing and helps to ensure input control at the proper level. Thermoscan Mini Creoscope fully complies with the standards of the Russian Federation. The analyzer is included in the state register of the Russian Federation for measurement devices. Manufacturer's warranty for our analyzer is one year. 